What up, YouTube? Mindy Hops here. Kind of just wanted to tell you about my day if you're interested. I'm wearing my Las Vegas hoodie to the strip like a true tourist. Uh, seeing the Christmas lights. I really want to see the Bellagio, but it wasn't together yet. So that sucked. But um, it's the last night that my friend's in town, so... I'm probably done with the strip. I think I'm officially almost a local enough, you know? Uh, first of all, I feel terrible about something, you guys. So there was this, like, big Buddha. <laughs> I don't know. I want to say Aria in the front. And it had a little bit, like, of money dangling on it. I've never taken money, like, out of, like, a wishing well or anything like that. Like, coins. And at first, I just rode the belly and I was going to walk away. But then I'm like, wait, this is weird. I was like, so I thought maybe somebody just hit and threw it up there. So I just started to, like, pick it off. In front of everybody, and this guy's like, ma'am, ma'am, what are you doing? Like, ma'am, do you turn around? He's like, uh, that's for charity. Mic drop. Like, dude, I swear to God, I didn't know. I'm such a lame ass, like, Hoosier from the Midwest. I thought maybe somebody just had a good night and threw it up there, like, for somebody to spend. And I was like, sir, I'm so sorry. Like, I think he could tell, like, I was genuinely dumb. Like, he kind of was like cock eyed at me. He's like, all right, I won't say anything. But I was so embarrassed. I was like, we got to get out of here. Because, like, first of all, I just felt dumb. Like, I was like, and the fact I didn't know it was for charity at all. Like, I, I like I wouldn't take it, period. But, like, especially when I just like, thought somebody just threw it up there. <laughs> so stupid. Ugh. I won't get over that. Uh, what else? What else do I have to talk about? How wasted my friend got down there. This is why people get robbed. I've never seen somebody act so dumb, even though I love you if you're watching friend um first of all I didn't have any money he knows that I was using his money <laughs> and so then we're late night nobody on the strip far into the strip he's come out hey this dude's wrapped up in a blanket walking down the street <laughs> with like a brand new meal like I know I dated a bum for two months I know how they roll like mm -mm. he's like why don't you give this dude some money I'm like why don't you give him some money first of all you don't ever go to like a kitty like sketchy place part of town late night and say give this bump some money when all you're surrounded by his bumps stupid then he's like oh we're gonna get so fucked up when we get to the car stupid then he just starts acting drunk and stupid I'm like dude you're gonna get robbed bro like you're gonna get robbed and I'm just gonna keep walking because you're acting stupid but um okay so what else do I have to tell you guys oh okay so another funny story <laughs> this is when you know you're not healthy <laughs> Life changes. Um, I went to go get plasma today for the first time ever. Never did it because uh, I'm not a drug addict. Not that everybody that gives plasma is a drug addict. Just the only people I've ever known to give plasma were 100% drug addicts. And um, it's a long process. I was in there for three hours. So I didn't drink anything for so long because you're not supposed to drink alcohol for almost 24 hours before. I did have two cups of coffee, but you're not supposed to have caffeine, apparently. And then you're supposed to eat something small. So what I thought was eating healthy, which I don't know what healthy means, I had two eggs and two pieces of bacon all day. And I had it like 8 a.m. I didn't go in to like 1. So that should have been out of my system. But I think I'm so dehydrated from all the alcohol. Again, guys, when you're not healthy enough to donate plasma, <laughs> that's a sign. That you've been living rough. And that's without drugs in my system. So um, I'm trying to turn my life around, guys. I really am. So they said, one, my blood pressure was too high. <laughs> and two, out of range. And two, um, my protein was too high. I was like, what do you mean? And... uh. I had two eggs and two bacon all day. I guess, like, I didn't have enough. Water. I was like, what am I supposed to eat? Like, fruit? Like, should I not eat before I come here? Like, what should I do? Like, I don't, under like, I'm asking you so I don't have to sit here for six hours next time to make 75 bucks. Like, and no offense, I'd be a little afraid if I had to get a plasma medicine. Because, like, I feel like I'm the normal one in there. Y'all know, y'all know how, the dude, this lady went outside and came back in like she did bath salt. She was like, and she could donate. But God forbid I have two pieces of bacon and my blood pressure's a little high because I've been sitting there with all these weirdos for five hours. <laughs> and then it's really scary. If you guys have never given plasma, let me, let me tell you about it. Like all this morning stuff. So 
on my weirdo day. So yeah, you sit there forever amongst a bunch of weirdos. And then um, you have to watch all these videos, but they like take your blood, but they put your red, red blood platelets back in and take like your, your other stuff out, like of your blood, I guess. And it's a machine, but there's all these things like you can get air going back into your arm. You get like bruising, like look like a big junkie and shit. Like, dude, I just looked around for two seconds. And I was like, uh, uh, like, I don't even want to sit next to this person. And they're like checking my arms for tracks marks. I'm like, have you just seen her face? Have you seen her face next to me? But I'm going to try to turn it into a positive experience. Like it'll be a free AIDS test and STD test. So that's a bonus. I think if I can make it in and I have to be this healthy to give plasma. Like I saw the people in there giving plasma. Like, if I can't get my blood pressure down and my protein down enough to give plasma, like, that's not good, fam. So, that's my goal. More is like a health thing. Like, the money's a bonus, you know? It's like 75 bucks. But <laughs> until I get my job, I finished my resume today. I just had to type it out. And um, I'm going to do three job searches a day. But I didn't do three today because I spent three hours in a salt like bath salt plasma center and then i went to the thing to see free christmas lights and um it was pretty cool i guess so yeah that was my weirdo day and um <laughs> so we'll follow my adventure to see if i can healthy enough to give plasma like dude crack addicts can give plasma and i can't i didn't make the cut it was like i felt like gym class like go home <laughs> you're the last one <laughs> Oh, but they had to take me in gym class. They don't have to take me at the plasma thing. That's the thing. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, uh, I got to get my life together. <laughs> Peace out. Late. <laughs>